Hello to everyone. A few tips maybe about this engine. You know that I'm owning a Subaru. This is my second car and I drove more than 500,000 kilometers and I'm still driving the car for more than 500,000 500, kilometers. So I think I could have a few tips for the viewers regarding how to maintain and a few tips how to make the DPF uh, last uh, as long as possible. And uh, this is my first tip. My first tip would be the pressure sensor on the intake manifold, which is located here. I just dismantle it. This is the collector of uh, the Subaru Euro, Euro 5 engine, black plastic. Euro 4 is uh, made of aluminum. So this is a uh, good reference when you buy maybe a second-hand Subaru regarding the crankshaft, but that's maybe for an another video. What happened to the U04 uh, between 2009 and 2011 with some failures on the crankshaft at Subaru? Maybe I have some. I read some literature about it. Maybe we can discuss it uh, later. But for the time being, let's focus on the pressure sensor. The pressure sensor has been cleaned. And I would recommend to clean it absolutely carefully each time you change or you service uh, the engine oil so you would be sure that it's not covered by um, uh, soot. Soot being the enemy of, uh, of the exhaust but also on the intake. The intake manifold is filled with soot and uh, the pressure sensor with uh, each 15,000 kilometers needs to be cleaned. So. The ECU is not totally crazy and will not start to make active regenerations thinking the, uh, the DPF is faulty. So uh, the tools required is very common tools, screwdriver for removing the plug, Teles telescopic magnet just to help and to take the balls out of this area one removed and my one of my favorite tool number 10 m 10 uh, torque uh, not sorry 10 wrench please note a, a second tip the balls the balls are not that easily accessible so I put non genuine ones with small uh, step section so the head is uh, eight millimeters higher than normal so it's more accessible for the for the wrench so this is my first tip hope you liked it thank you for watching bye bye